hungry. What's up, Jersey Jeff Eats Foodies? Today we are doing another fast food run. I love these fast food runs. We're going to check out Roy Rogers. Now, Roy Rogers used to be really popular years ago across the country. Uh, these days, there's not that many Roy Rogers around. And uh, I happen to be fortunate enough to have one right here in my neighborhood. So uh, they have a brand new sandwich called the Wild Dill Chicken Sandwich. What it is is a uh, breaded chicken breast, boneless chicken breast, uh, with fried pickles, which they slice like French fries. They're, they're long, they're not like circular, they're long slices. Uh, they batter them, fry them. They put that on top of the chicken breast. They top it with Monterey Jack cheese and cowboy sauce. What's cowboy sauce? I have no idea, we're about to find out. Uh, I'll probably get a side of the uh, pickle fries as well. And then they have a new drink, a smoothie or a shake called um, Chip Mint. I think it's Chip Mint Shake. So we're going to try that out as well. Kind of like a chocolate chip mint ice cream, I would assume, only in a shake form. So uh, lots of new things here at White Rogers. If you don't have one by your house, well, I'm sorry, but I'm going to show you my experience here at Roy Rogers at the one that's close to my house, and we'll take things from there. So this all sounds fun and good, and uh, I'm looking forward to trying those fried pickles. You know, I've uh, been in the Jersey Shore area for several years now, and uh, Jersey Shore is known for fried pickles. I have never had fried pickles before, so it's going to be interesting to have them on the sandwich as well as I'm going to order a side of them to see what they're like. I don't know what you do with fried pickles. Do you put them in ketchup, like french fries? I think what I'm going to do is order a side of ranch sauce, which uh, sounds more uh, compatible with uh, french fried pickles. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm running some chores before I uh, actually get to uh, Roy Rogers, but just about done with my daily chores here and I'm kind of hungry so I'm looking forward to the wild dill chicken sandwich. Have you guys ever had fried pickles before? Again, uh, being here at the Jersey Shore they're quite popular but I've never had them before. What do you think of them? I'll let you know what I think of them in a couple moments. Hey, this is Gavon, the Jersey Jeff Eats channel's mascot. He's going to be hiding somewhere in this video. Not right now, I'm just showing you a picture of what he looks like. Somewhere else in this video, he's going to show up as a quick flash in the background. If you spot him, leave a comment below on the timestamp where you spotted him, and I'll give you a shout out on an upcoming video. Good luck! Can I get you? Hi, can I try the um, wild dill chicken sandwich? Okay. A side of pickle fries. Okay. 
and the um, mint shake that you guys have now. Okay. That's it. That's gonna be fourteen thirty-eight last one though. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. The pickle fries, did it come with some kind of sauce or something? They have like a spicy mayo sauce for them. Is it in the bag? I don't know, but I can Thank you. Here you go. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Um, I didn't put any in the sauce yet. I'm going to do that after we uh, tackle some of this massive sandwich. I don't think I can eat this whole sandwich, but we'll see what this looks like. Again, this is the wild dill chicken sandwich. And this looks really good. It's a fried chicken breast with some cowboy sauce, some Monterey Jack melted cheese, those fried pickles on top, and uh, it's all on a brioche bun. Something about Roy Rogers, and again, most of you don't have a Roy Rogers around you, but one of the things I dislike about Roy Rogers are their buns. Uh, they're usually very dry. This doesn't look like a typical Roy Rogers bun. It's a brioche bun. Typically, Roy Rogers, uh, on their roast beef sandwiches and their hamburgers and things, have a kind of like a cornmeal bun. I don't know. It's got the, like these little crumbly cornmeal things on top. And I always found them very dry. And it's one of the things I didn't like about Roy Rogers is, you know, a bad bun can ruin a good sandwich. So this is a brioche bun, not your typical Roy Rogers bun. So dying to check this out that looks good don't it? hey guys don't forget if you're enjoying the Jersey Jeff Eats channels videos then please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and if you're enjoying this Roy Rogers video in particular give it a thumbs up subscribing and giving the videos thumbs up or down for that matter uh, really do help the channel out I do appreciate your support guys So I have to tell you, number one, there's no napkins in the bag, which is a strike against this particular restaurant. And number two, no receipt, which is a strike against me. I always forget, every time I'm at a fast food restaurant, I forget to ask for the receipt. But I will tell you, I think everything ran, well, you know what, I'm not even going to tell you because I might be mistaken. I'll look it up online. I'll check out the app and I'll let you know exactly how much everything costs by the end of the video. I do have to tell you guys, this is a good sandwich. very tasty sandwich now I know some of you don't like spicy foods and I have to tell you I think it's the um, cowboy sauce that's on this really good sandwich that makes it somewhat spicy a little bit hot so keep that in mind uh, 
It looks like the sauce that they gave me to dip the um, fried pickles in, which I'll try out in a moment. But just to let you guys know, it is a spicy sandwich, and the sauce is a little bit hot. Not crazy hot, but a little bit hot. Are you guys familiar with Roy Rogers? Do you have one around you? Again, they used to be very popular across the country. Uh, not as popular as they used to be, but I am fortunate enough to have one right here in my own neighborhood. But leave a comment below if you've never heard of them or if you have heard of them and you enjoy their food. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about Roy Rogers. As I'm enjoying my uh, late lunch, early dinner here, they are getting busier. Roy Rogers, of course, is known for their roast beef sandwiches. That's what they're famous for. And they do make a really good roast beef sandwich, especially if you order some uh, aju sauce on the side. Great place to come for a roast beef, some coleslaw, and some uh, aju sauce and french fries. But again, with this channel, I like to try out their uh, trial stuff as far as restaurants that I visit. Limited time stuff, and this is a limited time sandwich, the wild dill chicken sandwich which by the way is very good and I hope they make it a staple on their menu because I'm probably come back for another one of these eventually that's a tasty sandwich Every time I come to Roy Rogers, uh, in the back of my mind, I'm hearing uh, Elton John's Goodbye Yellow Brick Road album, one of my top 10 albums of all time. I was just a child when it came out, but there's a, a hidden track on there called Roy Rogers, and uh, I always love to listen to that song. I just really love listening to that entire album. It's a double album. Like I said, I was a child when it came out had fantastic it was like a double sleeve thing it was a double album and uh, when you opened it up it had fantastic illustrations in it the lyrics and uh, one of the songs like I said was Roy Rogers and I always uh, loved that song and till this day as an adult now an older adult many years later I always think of that song a song that's hidden on that Goodbye Yellow Brick Road album I wish I could play it right now for this video but obviously I can't But there's nothing stopping you from Googling it and checking it out. You'll like it. Again, that song is uh, Roy Rogers on the Goodbye Yellow Brick Road by album by uh, Elton John. A fantastic album. One of my top ten favorites of all time. So, I got this side of fried pickles and I got this sauce that they say goes with it. I really didn't know what to dip these in, so thank God they thought of something. I was thinking ranch, but we'll see what this tastes like. This is good. I don't know what they call it. Again, a little spicy, a little bit of heat. So just keep that in mind if you don't like spicy or hot food. But the sauce is good. 
If you want to try the fried pickles and you don't like spicy or hot food, I recommend the ranch. I don't recommend ketchup or barbecue sauce or anything like that because although they look like fries, in reality they're pickles. So you want something a little bit, uh, like I said, like a ranch or something. This sauce does go well with it though, I have to say. But again, spicy and a little bit hot. I am enjoying these pickles. Very good. And they were a good topping to that chicken sandwich. Good job, Roy Rogers. I gotta tell you guys, this might be one of those rare times where I actually eat everything I ordered. I still have that mint shake. I haven't tried it yet. We'll see what that tastes like. It smells good. It smells like um, chocolate chip mint ice cream. As you guys know, I eat one thing at a time and drink one thing at a time. I'm not the type of person that needs to wash down their meal every couple of seconds. I, I realize I eat very strangely, not like most people, but one thing at a time and then my drink for the last uh, part of my meal. Unless I'm choking, then I'll reach for the drink. <laughs> These are really good. All right, now I have this chocolate chip mint slushy. It's more of a shake, a chocolate chip mint shake. As you can see, there's lots of pieces of chocolate. I don't know if that chocolate's gonna make it into the straw. A big concern of mine. <laughs> I don't know if all those little pieces of chocolate in here are gonna make it into that straw, but if not, we'll just have to scoop them out at the end. But uh, this has smelled good since I've had it in my car. Looking forward to trying this. Again, I skipped on the whipped cream. Not a huge sweet fan, as you guys know. I order this kind of stuff to uh, just taste it for you guys, more or less. But let's, let's give this one a try. Um, melted chocolate chip mint ice cream basically that's what it tastes like lots of chunks of chocolate I'm not getting any of those up the straw so that's kind of like useless but it's a good drink I'm actually enjoying it. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be, which is good for me. Um, it's a shame about all that chocolate. Look, it's all falling to the bottom and my straw is not going to pick that up. Uh, maybe you should order a straw, not a straw, a spoon when you order this drink so you can get that chocolate up. But it really doesn't make it into the straw. That's a shame. I'm try to stir it up a little bit and see if I can get some. No, now it's clogging up the straw, so that wasn't a good idea. In any event, the shake is pretty good. Just make sure you get a spoon so you can pop the lid off and get all those little chocolate bits at the end. So all in all, a very good meal here at Roy Rogers. I enjoyed that wild dill chicken sandwich. It's a limited time only kind of thing. Uh, the fried pickles were good with that dipping sauce. This uh, chocolate chip mint shake, unfortunately with all the chip mints or the chocolate chips at the bottom that I can't reach, 
very frustrating, but uh, good nonetheless. I did tell a friend I was coming here, and of course they asked me to get a roast beef sandwich for them, some odd juice sauce, french fries, and coleslaw. So I have to go around the drive-thru again because I didn't want them their meal to get cold while I was uh, sitting here in the car talking to you guys. So I'm going to head around the Roy Rogers one more time. Uh, and then uh, head over to a friend's house, drop that meal off, and then go home. So let me know what you think of this meal. I really enjoyed it. I don't know if you have a Roy Rogers around you. They're not as popular as they used to be, but I'm glad I have one by my house. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Don't forget, if you'd like to support the Jersey Jeff Eats channel, then click on that thanks button right underneath the video you're watching right now. Doing so will help support the channel. I do appreciate your support. And if you do click on that thanks button, you'll get a shout out on an upcoming Jersey Jeff Eats video.